All right, so now that we covered the basics and, <clears throat> and the local area for NBA, let's go into the NHL a little bit. Day one of the NHL free agency is the same day as NBA free agency. A lot of stuff went down. The most money ever was spent on day one in NHL history in free agency market. And we're going to go and look at the local teams first. Before the free agency, the Devils made a big trade, acquiring Taylor Hall, the number one pick in the 2010 NHL, NHL draft from Edmonton, and they gave up defenseman um, Adam, Larson, Adam Larson. How can I forget? Yep. And a lot of Edmonton fans are upset with this because they felt like Larson has not yet proven himself in the league. He's 24 years old, and he is a good defenseman, but he has not proven he will be that star-studded defenseman that they need. And Taylor Hall has proven to be a solid scorer. Right, absolutely. And, you know, the Devils <clears throat> need that. This is a team for years that, um, you know, we've watched them all the time. I mean, this, is, this team is built on defense. They have great defenders. Um, you know, did they have some scores? Yes, they had Zach Parise. They had... Um, Patrick Elias. They had these elite scores, but for the most part, this was a team that was, you know, we're going to hold the team to zero, hopefully score one or two goals and get a win. So now they're branching out. They're trading their defensive, uh, you know, their defensive solid pillars for the team in order to gain some offense. So they're switching their play style a little bit. And this guy Hall is clearly going to do that, and he's proven himself. And a lot of people consider this a steal. Right. And this is big. This is big for the New Jersey area. I think this could be a great big deal for them. Yeah. Because I, I think it really hurt the team when Zach Parise left. And Ilya Kovalchuk went back to Russia, too. Correct, correct, exactly. And that totally, like, really killed their offensive motor. Mm. I think this will bring them back. Not, not you know, a crazy amount, because they still did give up someone, but I don't think you can go wrong with this trade. I can't find a spot where the Devils lost on this trade. Mm. I can't. I, I mean... But, and a lot of people think, well, they lost Adam Larson. He was one of the best guys on our team last year. Well, they did sign a guy from Pittsburgh who did, who did just win the Stanley Cup, Ben Lovejoy, to a three-year contract. He is a defenseman, so they made up for that loss right there. Right. He is a solid player, and a lot of New Jersey fans should be happy with the GM, Ray Shiro. He is bringing the guys that he worked with in Pittsburgh over, and I like the Pittsburgh pick. I mean, I'm not a Pittsburgh fan, but the guys on that team are good. And it's good to have those connections because he's kind of, it's like the Knicks bringing in Bulls players, we're bringing in Pittsburgh players. And those guys just came off a championship. Right. So, I mean, so, they got some experience in the playoffs, really, so maybe, yeah. maybe that'll bring yeah. them there. They also, their first pick in the draft, they right. got Michael McLeod, who looks like a really good center. Um, and if he comes up and does really well, now you have a great, I believe Hall's a left winger, right? Yeah. You got a great left winger, a great center, up and coming center. And your, their defense is still pretty solid. Uh, obviously, uh, Corey Schneider will be back behind the net, and he'll do really well. Um, so this team can really uh, excel this year, do way better than they did last year. I think, like Mike was saying this whole episode, ho hockey, it looks like, and basketball, New York really had nothing. <laughs> New York and New Jersey had nothing to cheer for. And I think this year we're starting to see that the rebuilding is, is coming to flourish, and we're starting to get better and better mm. on, on all sides, and it, it's looking pretty good. Yeah. So because the Rangers really haven't made any moves, and on top of the fact that we are Devils fans, let's go right into the New York Islanders moves that they made on day one of free agency. They lost their key scorers in Kyle Opozo and Franz Nielsen. They also lost a key defender in Matt Martin. So they decided to bring in a left winger in Andrew Ladd to a seven-year contract, which is absolutely big for the team. Last year they were in playoff contention, but they were always missing that one little piece. And they lost those two key scorers in Opozo and Nielsen, so they had to bring in that talent, and they decided to bring in Andrew Ladd. I mean, that's kind of crazy. You don't see seven-year contracts every day in the right. NHL, so they must believe a lot in this guy, Andrew Ladd. I mean, he did have 25 goals last year, so that's not bad, but he did average 18 minutes per game, and... I mean, he's not a terrible uh, guy, but he's he's a decent player. Yeah, decent. I mean, you know, he's 30 right now. So, you know, this is definitely um, perhaps a little bit past his prime to be signing a big de year deal. Obviously, the end of that contract, they're really going to be getting, like, the bottom of the barrel, it looks yeah. like. But he doesn't look like a bad player. But overall, even with that one move, it doesn't compensate for what they lost. The, those three players were huge on their team. It looks as though... This team is, is in a total rebuilding phase. And 
you know, it, it, well, it basically looks as though that the Islanders are just giving up on this season. I mean, not crazy, but it looks like they really want to tear this thing down, uh, get some, you know, draft picks perhaps, maybe build from within. But it, they're obviously not going to do as well as last year, at least looking at their roster. Right. Um, so that, that, they're going. They're going in a negative direction, unlike the other teams we talked about today. Right. Um, but I don't think the Islanders are bad. They did great last year. Um, so we'll see how they hold up. But overall, I think the GM of the Islanders is really leaning towards the direction that we need to rebuild. Right. I remember.